Hey everybody, Andrew here. Welcome to Living the Northern Life. Today, we're back at the, doing the shower and as you could tell, we just put some Red Guard on it. We're gonna walk you through our steps that we took for this process. Just remember, we're not professionals. We're just showing you guys how we did this. Uh, if you guys wanna do this, I would seek professional help. Uh, we did not do this uh, any way that we saw on YouTube before, uh, meaning that we did a concrete base. We put our uh, concrete board inside the tub, and now we've used Schluter and used Thinset to Thinset that into the corners, uh, and then we put Red Guard on it. Uh, this is our second coat, and I think it's kind of amazing. Uh, we're also using the Amazon tub set that we put into the other video. If you haven't watched those other videos, go back and watch that. Leave your comments down below. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button to follow along. It doesn't cost you a thing, and it sure means the world to us. Kind of showing you guys the end product here, but what we did is uh, we used two coats of Red Guard. Um, the first coat, to be perfectly honest with you, had left spots. I uh, wasn't happy with it. I'm not much of a painter but uh, I still was not happy with that at all. The second coat, you can see that it's slowly turning red. It's a pinkish color right now. You can see that over here, it's turning more red. And as it's coming down, it's, it's pink. Uh, but as this dries, it will turn red. Let's kick this video off with where we left off with the last one. We haven't even put up the concrete board yet. All right, I'm gonna be cutting this outside on my sawhorses. Have to start from the top edge make my 86 and then kind of work back. Uh, I don't have my camera set up here, so um, I'm just gonna be using a jigsaw with a diamond blade and you'll see that here uh, in a minute. I'll show you a quick picture of that. All right, so it's all marked out. This is the cutout for the tub and uh, hopefully that all uh, works out. The squiggly lines are what's being removed. And I have another board underneath here to stop it from sagging on the end. So I set up a guide for myself. I put a block underneath so the end wouldn't drop. Uh, we're using a Diablo blade. I bought it from Home Depot here and it's cutting through this thing like butter. So this is awesome. Here's the cut edge using that Diablo blade with the skill saw. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I like that. Can certainly live with that. Okay, so next I'm gonna follow this line and then put a board on there. I've also made sure that my line and my boards are out of the way. <laughs> this Diablo blade cuts just as well as a, as a regular uh, jigsaw blade. This is fantastic. I'm having too much fun. All right, so this is all cut out. Now I'm gonna put a, a board in here and uh, lock it down so that I can follow that line nice and straight. Before working down this line more, I went back and squared off this corner. So it should be all good now, right? All right, so the piece is all cut. And now I have to get it into the basement. I'm not assuming that this is going to go smooth, but we'll see how it goes. Here we go. And yes, I should have totally measured where my studs were before I stood this thing up. It's in now. Okay, dare I say the easy one is in? <laughs> all right, time to get the second one all lined up. We have a bunch of new cuts to make. Kind of the same cuts. Uh, I gotta get my measurements taken again and uh, get that concrete board laid out. Uh, I'm gonna write all this stuff down now. All right, so the protective cover is back on. I've taken my measurements. I've just taken a picture. Uh, I'm gonna go draw it on the concrete board and then I'm gonna confirm that it's all good and then I'm gonna cut it out. All right, so the basic shape is cut out. Now I gotta cut a hole for the handle, for the valve and for the shower head. So the holes are where they're supposed to be. Uh, so I'm gonna bring this downstairs and give it a try. Here we go.
well, it's coming along not too badly, I don't think. Next, I uh, just got to make sure that all the screws are in and uh, flush. I uh, got to, oh, I think we'll have to mix up some thin set and then put our schluters on the corners and the edge and around there. So we got a square corner, square corner, square corner, and then a six inch schluter piece that's gonna go up there. Um, so I think that that's next. This is the Schluter product that we're gonna be using for our thin set. It's also to be used for setting the membranes. Here's our instructions here. It says that we're supposed to use eight liters of water. I'll give you that uh, here. I'll just zoom in a little bit. So eight and a half quarts is max. The uh, tiling, it's setting the tiles is a little bit different. It's less. Uh, they're counting on 50 pounds. I'm not using 50 pounds to set the membrane, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do here. I would like to start with 10 pounds, which is about a liter, a liter and a half of water, but I need to measure 10 pounds of this stuff, and uh, I'm going to go mix it outside. So I'm going to use a scale with an old uh, peanut butter jar that I just cleaned out with my Home Depot bucket. I'm going to measure 10 pounds, and uh, I've got a liter and a half of water upstairs, um, and then I'm going to go mix this outside. After I mix that outside, I need to wait 10 minutes uh, to be able to stir it again. Uh, I need to put in my little corner pieces here and measure in between them uh, with my Schluter, Schluter Curdy Band and uh, cut those to length. So uh, I'm going to get started on this. Wish me luck. I've never done this before. Okay, so it's all mixed. Now I need to wait 10 minutes. Okay, so I've got the three corner pieces just sitting in there. And now we need to overlap each of these by at least two inches. So I'm gonna get my curdy band and cut that in there now. This is the stuff that we're using. We just pulled it off the shelf at Home Depot. We pre-creased the edge uh, curdy band here. Hopefully that helps. Uh, other people have said to do that in uh, other videos. So we're trying that too. Okay, so my timer just went off. Now I need to grab my drill. I'm just going to mix this inside. Here we go. Okay, so 10 pounds was way too much, uh, but I got everything done. Uh, I might have to just go over, there's a little bit sagging over here, so I'll just take my plastic scraper and uh, level that off, but everything else looks pretty good. I even got the Schluter uh, cover over here. I'll put the name on the description here. I don't know what it's called, but uh, now we just wait for it to dry. And way overkill. I did the inside edge here on both sides. After this is all dried, we're going to use a product called Red Guard, and we're going to paint this whole thing basically red. This is the stuff that we're using, and uh, so it'll create a vapor barrier for the whole shower. That's why we didn't put a vapor barrier in behind the concrete board. So next step we're going to do is to just lay out our tiles and then cut it basically to shape find out which ones are missing. And then uh, hopefully we've got a diamond blade here that can cut the tiles uh, in half. They're just little guys. Uh, so hopefully it'll get it done. But first we need to let this dry. And the next step after this one is tiling. So we're about 30 hours after uh, we did all the thin set here and got the Schluter all uh, put into the corners. Uh, the thin set takes about 12 hours for it to dry, but that would have put it like you know, way too late for me to uh, to do my next thing. So we just let it sit, uh, just finish work. And now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna take off the stickers off the wall here. And uh, the next step, I gotta clean up some uh, compound that was uh, left on the ground here. Just gonna peel this label off the wall here. I don't think they're anything too special or anything like that. Might have to clean up the glue, but we're gonna give the wall a, a wipe before we get to it. 
But the other thing is that I was using the trowel, uh, just loosening up uh, these concrete bits here. Uh, so I got to get those swept up and vacuumed out. I'm going to make sure that it's all good to go before I put the red guard down. All right, so now we got a vacuum and uh, pull out the red guard. And it's going to take an hour and a half, two hours for it to set. But we have to leave this thing for 72 hours. So I'm uh, going to get this going. Don't forget to stir your red guard. Okay, well that's coat one. Let's have a quick clip. So I'm not much of a painter. I'm not super happy with this, but uh, we're gonna put a second coat on here. We're gonna let this sit for about two hours and then come back, put another coat on it. Just to fill in some of these hard to get spots. This concrete is porous, right? And I don't know if you can see it here or not, but there are spaces in here that don't have red guard in it. And that's why I want to come back and put a second coat on. Okay, so it's dry. So I'm going to put a second coat on here again. All right, guys, that's where we're at in this process right now. Uh, we've got the red guard going. Uh, it's got to dry for 72 hours uh, before we can start to tile. And then after we tile, the uh, thin set itself is going to take probably 12 hours to set before we can grout. So uh, let's call that 24 hours uh, after we put the tiles in. Uh, then we can grout and the grout takes another three days for it to set. Um, now the grout that we got uh, doesn't need to be sealed, but we're going to silicone the big corners and the top and bottom around around the base. Um, I guess that's the right thing to do. That's what professionals say. But uh, anyway, uh, we're not professionals, like we said earlier. We're going to put the link to the Amazon shower set, but that won't be really until the next video when we're putting up the tiles and uh, installing the hardware, uh, getting that all done. So hopefully you guys stick with us. Uh, leave your comments down below. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button to follow along. It doesn't cost you a thing, and it sure means the world to us. And until the next one, keep living the Northern life. Thanks for watching Live in the Northern Life. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Remember to click subscribe, click that bell notification, and give us a thumbs up for the videos you like.